All right, you guys ready? Yeah, I'm already going to get the All right, we have a quorum. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, you advertise uh, free air conditioning, we get a crowd. I like that. Good evening. We have a short agenda tonight. Uh, first things first, uh, approval of the minutes for June 17th. Move to approve. I've got a motion to approve. Do second. I have a second? Second by Tom. Beautiful. Uh, any other questions, comments about the minutes? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Approved. All right, first thing on our uh, agenda is to amend the zoning ordinance 18 2019. Mr. Morgan? Um, this becomes before you tonight, or comes before you tonight. This was a, a misassigned ordinance number. As you'll find out in your next order of business that this was a duplicate. So uh, just as a matter, we're requesting a change of the actual ordinance number from 12, 2019 to 18, 2019. Okay. So we, we have just a mix up in numbers. Yes, sir. It's no big deal. No, sir. The ordinance rezoned property ordinance number 12, 2019 was adopted on May 6, 2019. It was recently discovered that the ordinance number was incorrectly assigned and the correct number should be ordinance number 18-2019. This amendment is for signature only. Any discussion from the council? Clarifying and correcting. All right. It is an ordinance. All those in favor are, well, no, would we need to suspend the rules? No. It, all, it's, 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 all you'll need to do is vote on the change. Okay. And, uh, Very good. Uh, and then make the signature. Okay. Question. All right. Need a motion to approve ordinance number 12, 2019. So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second. Further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of passing this ordinance signify by saying aye. 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 We've made notice to the attorney uh, in the rezoning case. At this time, we don't believe he has any issues. Okay, great. Second order of business, food and beverage tax ordinance 12-2019. This ordinance has been introduced. It's had a public hearing uh, for public comment. It was read line by line at our last meeting. And it comes before this body for an adoption, if it so pleases the council. Uh, council members, any questions about food and beverage? All right. What we need is action. I make a motion that we pass the food and beverage tax ordinance. Well. <coughs> okay, I've got a motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Jim. Uh, we'll do a roll call vote because that's the way it's set up here. Uh, off with me. Aye. Mr. Pato. Aye. Gerald. Aye. Phillips. Aye. Ben is not here. The motion, the ordinance passes 4 0. Thank you very much. Uh, Jewel and Ann, thank you very much for all your hard work. You. We've tried long and hard. Guys helped us push it over the edge. So thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Third item on our agenda: decision on public works building. Morgan, Mr. President, this issue comes before you with absolutely nothing on the agenda. There's no briefing that I can provide for you. Uh, as you know, we uh, looked at uh, the Electric Plus building as a possible alternative to current public works facility. I can't remember the exact price. It was over $600,000. Um, if the, really what it comes down to is, is if we're not going to pull the trigger on this building, uh, then we need to truly think about uh, taking the funds that we had moved and shifted to help fund the purchase of the building and put them back in their line items. As you know, we've had 
issues in this building. We've had other projects come up that, uh, in all honesty, uh, have required funding. Uh, we're starting to run low because we basically robbed Peter to pay Paul moving those funds around. So uh, really what it comes down to is it's a council decision if uh, this is still a, a purchase that you want to continue to pursue, uh, then we'll leave, let everything as status quo. If you want to look at another option, uh, we can look at another option. I believe that I spoke to all of you at least the majority of you individually on uh, some other options that will would be available to us if uh, you don't want to pursue this this option when it does come time to do our water treatment or no I'm sorry our wastewater treatment expansion right. uh, then uh, there is a uh, an avenue that we could utilize to possibly fund the move removing uh, or even the moving of the public works facility where it currently is a more suitable location as the treatment plan expands. It's kind of a common venture to be honest with you that especially in larger corporations when they decide that they need to uh, grab property they'll help they have to buy someone's home they help them relocate. I know that's oversimplifying this matter but if we take public works building for the wastewater treatment then we can try and help. Gary, what are you looking at? Maybe four or five years before you start really looking to put in for the uh, facility? Okay, and as far after that, how much time before you actually put shovel to dirt? I'm sure this isn't what Public Works wants to hear right now. Sure, they'd like to move immediately. Uh, Albie's here representing Public Works. Albie, you want to weigh in on this? Try to do something sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask. Right. 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 Um, is this something you can put off for a year or two? Uh, possibly, yeah. Maybe. I'm torn on this one because uh, we had looked at that property. Uh, we all walked it. Uh, we started playing the what if game, started moving in and looking at that. The, the price tag was a bit obnoxious uh, to some of us on the council. Uh, we never took a vote on it. Just took a look at uh, that one property. I know staff looked at a couple of different options, but that was never really presented to the council. We were presented with this because it was available at the time and it's currently still available if I'm not mistaken. It is. When we talk about funding and other projects, what other projects do we have that could better utilize this money? First thing that comes to mind is the strategy. Bridge. Committed to that for just under four hundred thousand dollars. What we have left in the host, that'll there's going to be some obviously some money in in uh, LRS and MVH, but we we left that part very thin. Cover this. Going to eat all that up. Uh, Barry's got some repairs in this building. I know. Uh, He's already approached you once before. He's got some others that apparently with the new operating system, his computer will not talk to the old system, so we're going to have to do some upgrading there as well. And There's always something. And we're looking at, obviously, the expansion to the gym, roof repairs in there as well. These are things that if we continue to put them off, we're going to essentially deteriorate this building. These items that we that you spoke of, uh, traffic bridge, we know is, is a work in progress. Right. Uh, we know that the the town hall has got problems. We know that. 
rough has to be not only for our employees but for the students classes start in the fall um, do we have a dollar amount rough idea of all gym expansion roof repair those sure. three throw two more projects out to you real quick <laughs> Uh, Got my pen. <laughs> I knew you would. I, I thought, you know, if I'm going to shock you, I'm going to shock well, you. Because, let's, get, let's go. Because yeah, we've got uh, Sycamore Lane. Well, um, we're going to have to, uh, you know, we're obviously we're going to look for a grant for that, but we'll have to put some money into it as well. Uh, County Road 150 East, which is, uh, we're hoping to be able to partner with the landfill on that one. Uh, but we'll still have to put some skin in the game. We've got um, Old North Salem Road. Going to probably require some drainage work and then on top of that uh, repaving so we've got some big projects I would say with everything that I've described to you we could be talking a million dollars I'm not saying we'd like to say we're gonna try and get some grant money and you know sure. do some some uh, patchwork sure. here and there but I think you could be easily looking at a million wouldn't you agree? go ahead so in looking at that property, it's a, it's a used property. And when you move in, my experience from moving one to another factory. Well, move the mouse. Oh. There's a... Please. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody said, yeah, let's move in. Then they get in there, and then they said, oh, geez, uh, I need another closet. Uh, and we need wires over here. Oh, we can't use that. We changed that. And I really thought all this stuff would go in there, but it doesn't. So you really have to think almost double that to really get it to where it wants to be. And so in light of everything that we're doing, and we need to do, and just the 625 costs, it's going to be way more than that. So I really feel that we shouldn't do that. We should wait. And uh, that's my feeling. Jim, what do you think? Well, yeah, I agree. When I first learned about it, I made the trip over there and looked at it and then asked for some input on the uh, rehabbing it and it was another six hundred thousand and a million two is not what we have available for that plus it takes that piece of property off of the uh, tax rolls uh, since we don't pay tax and that's another fifteen twenty thousand dollars a year removed from from uh, the town's needs for income I, I wouldn't be in favor of it all the other things we're staring at I think not a good prudent expense this point. Chris? I agree. Um, the list of priorities that we have here, I don't believe it adds up. I know this is just, it's, it's part of a moving project. I mean, we have to have somewhere for public works to go if we're going to expand wastewater. There's no question, it has to be expanded. With, with when, when they say they walked through it, we started looking, started asking questions of where you could put vehicles, right? what we would have to do to upgrade it. And if we did not have pressing issues, Question about it. We put way too much money into it. Radical, like sell this building. Got to find another home. I think that's really an option. Um, we have to maintain it. Maintain it for our workers, for the public, and for the students. Sycamore Lane, we know, does not have any drainage. And put in, it did not have the traffic today, but it does. Old North Salem Road, County Road 150 East is getting more traffic from Anfield Road. And that we've committed to fixing stuff. We have to fix it. I worry that once we start doing this, we never get back to public works. And, and if if we choose move away from that we need to needs to keep that firmly in focus that is going to be an immediate need 
four to five years, which means we need to purchase property within the next two. We'd like to see alternatives because we really didn't see that. We have, I think we need to, uh, with the new administration, we need to take a, a second look. Vote would be to reallocate the funds to our needs, select a staff priority list. Realizing that Sycamore and Stratford are going to be hugely expensive, fully funded right away. But uh, things like uh, roof repair, <coughs> heating and cooling in this in this building, gym expansion. right now so what is uh, the wishes of the council anybody want to make a motion need a motion I'll just need a consensus from the council uh, since you never voted to actually spend the money I don't okay and so that 625,000 that that we reserved if you will we we I don't believe we reserved the totality of it we, we put a pretty good dent in it. Uh, and, and in speaking with the clerk treasurer, I think there's going to be some issues with in, in moving the funds back to those accounts. It's going to take, we'll, we'll have to actually come back to you and, 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 and move them because they've, they were reported to the, uh, thank you, DLGF. So we'll have to make some moves uh, when we do that. Uh, it'd be similar to uh, what uh, Chief Roberts did, what I used to always do. Of moving some money around and just getting your approval from some funds transfers. Does it sound good with with council to to, uh, to have staff reallocate that money and then come back with us and tell us what you're going to do? Yes, sir. Uh, Public Works, we're not going to forget about you guys. Wastewater, we, we can't forget about you guys. It's just these are, are a bit more pressing needs at this particular moment. We have a little bit or two stop around maybe other properties we might get a little bit innovative and creative else okay thanks this morning uh, we met with the department heads uh, we had an extremely productive meeting this morning uh, we are uh, ready to uh, implement the safety committee again. I've asked the department heads to come to me at the next meeting with their representative and along with some guidance for the committee on what they want them to look at, what they're wanting them to do. So uh, we are excited. We're trying to keep department heads off of the committee. Uh, we want this to be a committee of, uh, of, um, of the workers uh, so that they've got some buy-in into what they're going to be recommending to each other. So we're excited about that. Be tough with that stormwater department. Yeah, and, and planning. So yeah, um, but um, uh, we did have a becoming. You don't know they're they're a one man department. They are a one person <laughs> department. One woman. Um, sorry. We are um, looking at. Uh, we had a complaint on Orchard Lane, um, in Orchard Estates, about the um, lack of uh, speed limit posting. Uh, so we went out. We looked at it. Um, under our ordinance and Indiana law, the speed limit's 30, and the homeowners in that area would like to see it reduced. Uh, that's going to take an ordinance, uh, so we'll be coming to you at some point, probably looking at a uh, change of the ordinance. Uh, if you look at our code of ordinance, there are certain streets that have uh, reductions of speed, so we'll, we'll take a look at that and probably get that to you. Um, we've identified, uh, as uh, Will so kindly calls it, our has to nowhere. Um, we've been looking at some connectivity issues. Um, we believe our first one that uh, uh, we think is going to be an easy fix. We're looking at um, the old farm, Temple Estates. Uh, is it Kensington? Is that correct? Is that well Wellington? Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, we're looking at uh, the ability to connect all of those possibly to our park system, and um, also uh, uh, Terry Kirtley Boulevard and um, Meadow Drive. So 
Um, we think it'll be an easy fix. We're looking at some uh, crosswalks to help uh, get our uh, the public across. Um, there's been no sidewalks on Money Lane. Uh, that's going to be our big issue, obviously, is to create sidewalks on Money and then uh, take them in again into uh, Temple and uh, Old Farm. Uh, where this became an issue was is uh, Sycamore Services bought the old church that's diagonal mm -hmm. from them, and they came to us and asked us how they could get uh, some of their clients from one building to another uh, because there's uh, some of the ADA ramps that are there are not in the best of shape, and then they turn around and there's nothing on that north side. So that's how this came to light. Um, so we agreed to work with them. Uh, we're going to try and work with them on the shared program uh, on their property, you know, where they split the cost with us. So exciting times. Like I said, we think it's going to be a good fit, especially with food and beverage coming in. Thank you very much for the implementation on that. Thank you very much to the two of you. Um, we, we are excited about uh, uh, the prospects. So today we went ahead and maybe we put the cart before the horse, hoping that the vote would go this way. Uh, but we've implemented a... Uh, what are you calling it? A not a trails and sidewalk committee. I know you you had a specific name for it. Uh, access and yeah, access and walk. He, he, of course, he has all these good terms. So access and walkability committee. Yeah, trails committee. Yeah, sidewalk committee. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Uh, so we put together this committee this morning uh, to help identify um, areas that we think that we should be tackling right off the bat. Uh, in some of our long-term projects, <coughs> excuse me. Um, if you look at our host fund list from years gone by, uh, as you and I have talked about, uh, we've seen sidewalks just keep going down and down the list because something else has come up. And uh, so we think that as we put this tax in place, uh, we're going to set deadlines. We're going to say that we we plan to put uh, sidewalks on Lincoln Street by 2025. And that way we're held accountable. We're, we're no longer, we don't have the ability to, as we've done in years past, rob Peter to pay Paul. If, if we say we're going to put this sidewalk in, then we need to stick to our word and put that sidewalk in. So uh, I think that's what the committee's going to identify as, as those locations. So I think it's exciting. Uh, just a couple of other quick things. Um, I, uh, I would like uh, your consensus to move forward with uh, talking with Buzz Crone about looking at some of our uh, fees, both water and sewer, uh, not necessarily our rates. Uh, we we're not we don't want to look at a rate adjustment right now. What we do want to look at is is what we are um, charging for tap fees. Uh, we believe we are completely uh, below what where we should be um, by thousands of dollars. And if we're going to be looking at a, a wastewater treatment expansion, uh, Jimmy's looking, I know, at a possible new water plant and uh, maybe designing something in the next two to three years. Uh, we need to start looking at um, what we charge for hookup, basically. And we also believe that if we take a, a approach now that we look at these fees, that we might be able to reduce the impact on our citizens as far as uh, their rates themselves. If we can, um, as many subdivisions as we've got coming in, um, if we look at raising those tap fees, maybe we can keep our rates down in the future when it's time for us to do those expansions. So it's kind of a two-pronged attack. But we would like Buzz to look into it, see what he can recommend for us. Our goal is to keep this simple. In talking with Superintendent Russell, um, found out some things that I quite honestly, uh, as you know, this is a learning process for me, uh, but we found out that in our water usage fees, the more water you use, the cheaper it gets. And I'm not sure how that was developed, but um, if I get 20 gallons of gas at the gas station or I get 30, I get charged the same price. So I, I'm not sure what the logic, you know, by using more, you pay less. So. Um, and I know uh, in the uh, utility billing, it becomes a nightmare because of all the different formulas we have. And I'd like to see us just do away with, uh, with those formulas and, and let's just be simple and, and, and just be right up front about what we charge. Absolutely. We've also looked at uh, the possibility of, of raising our, uh, our sign fees. Uh, 
We charge for our uh, sign usage, uh, temporary signs, things like that. Uh, it was brought to my attention this morning in the meeting. Uh, we were talking about the sign across 36. Uh, we think we charge, was it 25 or $10? $25. dollars uh, we spend probably four times that just in manpower putting that sign across 36, let alone fuel, the truck itself, usage. Um, I don't know where those fees came from, but I think we need to start getting them up to the point where they maybe match what we're actually, the work we're putting into it. Uh, it was even brought to my attention of who insures that sign. Is the person putting the, that, that has rented that space or do we pay for that? Set on our insurance. If that if that banner falls and hits a motorcyclist, who's responsible? Is it us? Is it the person that rented the space? So these are things that we we need to start thinking about. To be honest with you, I think these are uh, these are questions that will protect our future. So, thoughts on the council? Yeah, uh, we have consensus to allow Mark to contact Buzz and. Investigate these fees. That's all I have for you. Today. Those are good points. Okay. Thank Any you very much. Any questions? Any questions for me? Yes. Yes. Uh, grants and stuff like that. We've lost a couple more people in your office. Mm -hmm. Has everybody got name tags now? Nobody knows anybody. Um, the grant situation. So, do we have any grants pending right now that we, we have not. to report to? Nope. In fact, uh, uh, we found out during the last process that you're speaking of that uh, no grants had been uh, submitted that we're aware of and uh, we had thought that quite honestly one was being worked on and there was no okay. process of the work. Because I know there's reporting requirements when we're doing that. Do what, sir? There's reporting requirements when you go through these grants? We have no open work grants we, right now. And uh, anything uh, coming up? Do we have any coming up? Yeah, is there no, anything? Sir, like, geez, we're, we gotta... we're going to be working with uh, Banning Engineering uh, to hit the community crossings grant in December. Uh, the deadline for the June was, was long past. We would have, we would never have had engineering fees uh, or engineering uh, studies done by the time that grant deadline was coming. So we're looking at a December, uh, there's a secondary process for that uh, for Sycamore Lane. I remember that position was a shared position. That's correct, sir. Um, so are you looking? What are we going to do with that? It is it is our intent. I've talked with the superintendents who, who helped fund that position. I gave them direction this morning that I would like them to all four write job descriptions and uh, have them ready for me by next week when we uh, have our uh, weekly staff meetings. We'll blend those job descriptions together, um, you know, um, depending on what somebody wants that person to, to do whether it be uh, pay claims for the water department, whether it be um, line locates for stormwater and, and water. Uh, I think those are things that everybody's going to get together and say, okay, here's what, here's what we expect of this position. And we're going to write the position, not the employee. It's been a detriment in the past that the people were allowed to write their own job description. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Any other questions? Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Any other staff members? Let's see a few of you. Anything from the public? Yes, sir. Come up to the front. Your name and what do you do? My name is Mick Run. I'm a part-time employee of the park. <laughs> uh, one of the things that I have is that a lot of times we can't – this meeting is being recorded and you can see it on YouTube we can't hear that table very so if though you guys when you're talking if you could make sure that you get it into that mic so we can hear there was a pretty good discussion last week and we had, I had no idea what they were talking thank about. you for the input appreciate that okay we've actually been looking at additional microphones uh, maybe a three-headed dragon we're not real sure <laughs> these are bigger we can get the better that's the natural thing we just can't pay for something just talk to Mick for the microphone 
but, he, but he's real quick to push it in front of me, so when I talk. <laughs> I did, too. That's what I said. Yeah. And, and we'll try to do a better job of uh, leaning into the mics when, when we talk instead of leaning far away when we talk. Okay. Jim. Chris? Everything I saw from today about your camp was amazing, and I can't wait to go tomorrow. So it looks like you guys are doing a fantastic job out there. So. Good point. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. That sounds like it's uh, really taking off. That'll be awesome. Um, I just have a couple of things. Um, earlier this evening, we uh, town council had a joint meeting with the park board uh, to discuss some some improvements in the park. Um, had a, it was a good discussion. Uh, nothing was decided on, but there was lots of good conversation. Um, once again, um, thanks to Julie and, and Ann for your help in uh, drafting the food and beverage tax. I know that uh, this was very difficult, and there was a lot of twists and turns, and I, I'm not quite sure that you didn't twist a few arms uh, to get this legislation passed. Um, the town missed out on an opportunity uh, in the early 2000s, and um, Gary Aiken and Marshall Lynch worked uh, repeatedly to go contact uh, our legislators to try to get uh, this bill passed. Um, it met with a lot of resistance, didn't get a lot of traction, and um, we entered into an agreement with these two, and um, it paid off. And we think this is going to be great for the town. Um, this this uh, truly should help improve our connectivity and uh, whatever the walkability. Well, thank you. <laughs> and that committee, too. All right. So anything else? All right. Claim docket. I do approve. I've got a motion to approve the claim docket. Do I have a second? I've got a second and a third. Any, uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, yes. Um, I ran through that and nobody, nobody bet. No, I'm sorry, we did have one. Anybody else? Lean up to the mic. Anybody else have public comment? No, that was, that was the pub public comment. Lean up That's to it. the mic. <laughs> Thank you for demonstrating. I was showing you how to do it. I pre appreciate that. I know you do. Okay. We've got a motion to approve the claim docket. We have a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Okay, I got a motion. Second. Second. Further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 We are adjourned.